Hello everybody, so today we're back for another round of our DMD and today we're covering on week 4, day 3 on Magic Square. So let us understand some of the basic contents for Magic Square. Today we're going to be learning how to calculate the middle of the square and also a special rule called the Golden Triangle. And you use these methods over here to go and apply for our practice question later on. So there is actually a special way we can actually count the middle of the square because we know that it's the average of each of its lines. If we look at the magic square here, given that the rows, columns, and diagonals all add up to the same sum, and we're given the numbers 1 through 9, it's actually very easy for us to determine the middle over here. But the thing is, how do we do so? There is a special proof. So now, given that we have the numbers 1 through 9 over here, we can tell that the sum of all of my 9 squares here has to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 9 giving us the number 45. But this already means that each line is going to be 45 divided by 3 is 15. Since all three lines, A, D, G, A, B, E, H, C, F, G, will all add up to the same number anyway. So it is considered as the average. But again, that's average for each line, not the center number. Yet, we still have another proof that we can go with. So let us go on with these two lines here. We have your lines B, E, H plus your D, E, F. And not just these numbers. We still want to have even more. We want to add your A, E, J plus your C, E, G. And you will notice that what I have done in this case is to add the sum of 4 lines. So 4 times 15. Now, let's look at some of these letters over here that I have for you. I have my A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and J. All these numbers over here, we know that it has to make up from 1 through 9, which is the sum of 45. This gives me 45 plus the remaining three letters over here, E, E, E. 3E, giving me the number 60. This tells us that 3E is equals to 15, where E equals to 5. And just like that, suddenly we have already proven that E will always be the average between these numbers. So we can see 1, 9, we can just find the average as 1 plus 9 divided by 2, giving us 5. That's why whenever we see a magic square, we know that the center number is automatically going to be the average of all the numbers given. Now, we also want to go and learn how to spot a special triangle. And we're going to call this the golden triangle. Okay, what golden triangle am I representing here? I'm actually representing this A, C, B. The moment I have this triangle over here, I can very, very quickly be able to determine, uh, if I've given two of these numbers, I can determine the third one very easily by a special proof once more. So let me show you the proof. Same thing, we're going to be learning how to go and find the sum of a few of these numbers, okay? namely with some added letters as well. So let me go and write down these numbers for you. Your D plus, sorry, your D, D plus E plus B plus F plus C plus G. And we know that these two lines are going to be, again, the special sum that we are talking about, the sum of each line, since they have to be the same. And they are also going to be equal to these numbers. A plus D plus F plus A plus E plus G. Do you notice that some of these letters here are repeated? On left side, E, right side, E, left side, D, right side, D, left side, F, right side, F, left side, G, right side, G. This automatically tells us that B plus C equals to A. We have really uh, two A's, sorry, which means that B plus C, if we go and take the numbers, the sum of these two, and we divide by two, we can automatically find A. A is again the average of B plus C. With these two rules, actually, it can help us solve some pretty complicated questions. 
And let's look at some of this, one of these past Animos questions. Although it's a 2013 paper, but surprisingly, these rules over here can be very helpful, especially the golden triangle. Okay, now let's look at this uh, numbers over here. Nine numbers are filled in a three by three array such that the sum of each numbers in each row, column, and diagonal is again the same. So it's basically a very similar concept based on the magic square. Now, given that this sum is also called the common sum. Now, for example, the common sum of figures one, sorry, figure one is 15. If we add up any of the common rows or columns or diagonals, it will still give us the same. Now, in figure two, the numbers 7, 67, and 139 have been filled in. But actually, that is enough for us to go and find the common sum. Is it? Now, do you already notice that it looks very similar to what we have just talked about in our golden triangle? We notice that based on this rule, look at this. We have a golden triangle. Let's call this A. We have already found the answer for A. Because A would then represent 67 over, uh, sorry, plus 7 over 2. Then this will give us the number 37. So very quickly, we have already obtained one of the values given to us. Now, we actually just need to notice that we can see a second golden triangle inside the question. Now, let me label it for you after I label the top left-hand corner 37. Let's use another color. And we can observe that we have yet another golden triangle. Calling this B, B equals to 139 plus 167 divided by 2. And this will give us the value 103. So, okay, very good. We have now two numbers. But how are these numbers over here going to be very helpful for me? I'm going to add in a number C over here, which would then suddenly make it so much easier. Let's see C over here. 37 plus C plus 103, if we look your column over here, and we look at the row now. Plus, okay, sorry, it, this is equals to... Okay, C, and I have a X in the middle, C plus X plus 67. I know that, again, we can cancel out some common numbers. C, C. This allows us to go and find the middle value, X, very quickly. 103 plus 37, we get 140. Minus 67, we get number 73. And with the middle number being known, Okay, even without deducing the rest of the numbers inside the question, I have already found my answer because the common sum for each row will be 139 plus 73 plus 7. Adding all this up, it gives us 219. And just like that, again, with some special proofs that we just talked about and adding on with this uh, little special method of trying to equate two lines together to go and find the sum, we managed to get the middle number, allowing us to deduce the final answer. Now, in this case, we have managed to also uh, use a special method as well. Okay, just uh, happen to notice one other thing as well. There is another way we could have obtained the center number, which is basically finding the average of these two numbers. Okay, 139 and 7. We can just take 139 plus 7 divided by 2. We actually also happen to get the number 73. So again, applying the average method we have learned from earlier on as well. Many methods to go and obtain the number 73. These are two possible methods in doing so. Still, it gives us the total sum of 219. Now, last but not least, our daily math doses. We still have another two, a few things to talk about. Please remember to finish our three questions that we'll be sending out. Please remember to send your answers inside the group chat as usual. And last but not least, take note of the solutions that will be sent out to you in the next day. Thank you, everybody.